hi it's me again um i just thought i'd jump on and do a quick little video of how you do a dummy um i done the teddy bear last night and i was saying it it, look, look, it looks nice for a christening or a baby shower or a newborn baby and i said um to tie a dummy to a hand or a foil so i thought i'd just jump on and just do a little quick tutorial how you do a dummy um with helium so it floats um when you do do these in helium, helium latex only does only float for the day. So if you're doing it, make sure you know it's only going to float. So sometimes it lasts longer than a day, but just so you don't do it the day before the party and then the next day it's on the floor on you. If you're wanting to do a dummy and you're wanting to, to last, I suggest doing it in air filled, but then you'd have to do it on a column and tie the air filled dummy on the top. But if you want it to float, latex balloon do only float for the day. So what I've got, I've got a clear latex balloon. I'm gonna do a double double dummy. But if you if you just wanted to do just a single dummy, you could just use a um a plain latex balloon. Um, on my description, I'll put all your sizes of balloons and what you need. Um, so you need just a plain latex balloon and. Um, I'm doing blue because my teddy bear was blue. So what you do is just roll the balloon up and slide it inside your larger clear latex balloon. Yeah. So I'm, just, I'm gonna just put that to one side a minute because I'm gonna do the handles next because once I blew the balloon up because it's helium it'll float so I need to tie it straight onto my handles. So with my handles, I'm going to use um, 260 cues. Again, I'm going to do them blue because my dummy is going to be blue, but you can do them in any colour. Blow your 260 cues up. Again, I always judge by eye. This is um, just how big I want the handle. Some people just do a single dummy handle. I always do a double one because I think it looks nicer. So blow two up the same size. Um, I usually always have these blown up ready, but of course I just, because it's a quick video, yeah, of course I just show you. So, blow them up, a little bit of air out, just to the same size. Yeah, tie it like you just normally tie a blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it at the other end that you've got, so you're creating like a little loop. And then I'm going to do the same with the other one. And then I'm going to join these together so you get like a little crisscross. So I just like the dummies, so it's like double. I've just put one inside the other, and then I'm going to wrap one of them round inside the two and then tie together just so it stays together. Yeah, and then I'm just going to snip them off. The long little bits I'm just gonna snip them off and then that's gonna be your handle for your dummy in a minute but again if you want to do a single one you can do a single one but I just like the double buttons then in the middle of that get another 260Q and literally tie it tie it again because this little bit will help you thread it through the base of your dummy in a minute which I'll show you so this bit's going to thread through with me so far. So for the base of your dummy, this is what I call a do. It's the called donuts. In um, Qualitex Blue, do them and they are actually called donuts and they do look like a donut. So in a minute, that is where the whole bit is where your handle is going to slot through. So what we're going to do next is blow up the top of your dummy. So what you do, I've got the helium here. I'm going to blow the blue one up first. Then once the blue one's blown up to the size I want, I'm going to push it to one side. Keep it tight hold so the helium doesn't come out. I'm going to push it to one side and blow the, Lisa, the clear latex one up. Yeah. So that is going to be me blue. As I said before... Get your blue, keep tight hold and pull it to the side. This bit is like makes horrible squeaking noise. I just did just keep going, yeah. 
and then again leg up to our biggie one and that's going to be your dummy then tie the two balloons together I always use my teeth as you know, you've seen in the other videos, I always use my teeth, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this bit through the table now. Underneath the table, just so it doesn't float to the seal and why I just blow my donut off. This is the fiddly bit with helium, you're trying to do it without it floating off. So I always just put it under like my table. I know my table's got no sharp edges, but if you were doing it in a venue, they might have like something that you might catch on to just... But sometimes you're doing it in your venue and you've got low ceilings, you'll be all right. Right, so we're going to blow the donut up. Donut similar, blow it up the same. But as you blow it up, it's going to go the shape. Have a donut, as you can see. Yeah. And this has got the little hole in. So, wait your tying point. Tie it. And then I've got some blue curl on ribbon. I'm going to tie it to that. That's what I'm going to use in a minute to tie it to my bear, my teddy bear. So just tie your balloon, curl on ribbon. Tie it a couple of times just so it doesn't come away. And it's nicely attached and then them little bits you can just curl them with your scissors push in pushing your finger against the scissors in between the ribbon and it just makes a little curl so there's your donut what you need to do now with your donut is that little long bit of 260q what i said before you're going to push through your donut to the opposite side We're going to use to tie it onto your balloon. And what you do is I just tie it through your tie and point of the balloons a couple of times. Some people have different ways of doing these, but this is just way out bad. Again, it's got helium in, so it's floating away from you. So just tied it about three times. And because it's still a little bit loose, I always, again, thread that back through. Oh, my dear, thread it back through. Yeah, when you thread it back through, you've still got your little other bit, a little 260 tie and point. Tie it again. So then it's nice and tight. With balloons, you do need patience and it is fiddly. But once you know how, it's easy. And ever a move, but you just play with it till it's all back in place. So I, I'll just repeat what I've just said then, but you can always play the video back. After you've tied the 260Q to your latex balloon, the top of the dummy, thread it back through again to tie back to your handle just so it's nice and tight and this bit's not swinging it's nice and tight and that is your dummy and then we're just going to tie it to our teddy bear's arm and i just think it looks like cute but then you can explain to your customer then they keep the they can once the um the dummy goes down they can just snip it off and you can keep it. I'm just going to tear my spotlights off so it doesn't blow off the dummy. Because <laughs> um, they, they get dead hot, them spotlights. Um, you can explain it to the customer or whoever you give it to or if you, you're doing it for yourself. Once the dummy goes down, you can just snip it off because the bear's air filled to the bear will last for a week. And there's your bear with the dummy. And I'll do a little video again in a minute on the floor with your dummy so you can see it in full size like I usually do. So just thought to do a quick little video of how you make a dummy and I'll put this on on the um I'll put the description of what you need. Thanks, see you later. Bye.